This is the rumor mill. Before we jump into the rumor mill, it needs to be said that we are not going to be talking about all possible rumors that are associated with anything nerdy because that would be impossible. I don't have access to all of those rumors and honestly, a lot of those rumors really hold no water. So we're only going to be talking about the big ones, the ones that won't go away or the ones that I find interesting fun thought experiments or something somewhere in between. So uh, otherwise, if you have a rumor that you want to share with me, find me on the social medias. Just look for Generally Nerdy. My Nerdy Ninja is the guy and that is where you will find me. So all of that being said, these are the rumors for today. Rumor mill, let's jump headfirst into our first rumor, and it is a WB Games leak, apparently. Uh, so user on Reddit, and then somebody else claims to have confirmed it, and they have pictures, so it must be true that uh, there was a giant leak through the NVIDIA GeForce Now cloud streaming gaming service. That's a lot of words. Uh, apparently somebody hacked into it, they gave details, and somebody else again confirmed it, and it shows a bunch of file names for games that are being played currently on the system by developers. A lot of these games are games that have been rumored for years. Uh, ga games with titles like Batman Arkham Insurgency, uh, as well as games that we didn't know were in development, like Batman Beyond Gotham, Batman Arkham Underworld, and Suicide Squad Metallica. But the thing that kind of has me going, I don't know about this, is the fact that both Mortal Kombat 12 and Injustice 3 both appear on this list. So that definitely discredits a lot of things. And also the fact that games that are listed on here that have been rumored again for years and have not ever come to fruition are on this list. It just definitely seems like somebody was really excited to fake something and they didn't do any homework for what is very likely in actual production at the moment. So the likelihood for this rumor, this leak, quote unquote, is about 20%. I would be very, very surprised if most of these games were real. Uh, if this was an actual hack or if this was an actual leak, then I, I, then I don't understand the industry like I thought I did. And I'm pretty sure I have a pretty good grasp on that because I've been, I've been following these things for quite some time. Either way, 20% is where we're standing. We're moving right along. Our next rumor has to do with Indiana Jones. And we, we've got a couple of things going on here. So first up, the actual rumor says that Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who we know has been cast in a role in this movie, Phoebe Waller-Bridge is supposedly, according to this rumor, going to be quote unquote, replacing Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones, unquote. Okay, so there's a couple of things to unpack here. First and foremost, how, how, how are they going to have both Harrison Ford and Phoebe Waller-Bridge in the same movie playing the same character that doesn't make sense. If you're going to, if, you, if, if a studio is going to gender swap a character, they're just gonna do it from Jump Street. All right, so that's first. Second, let's get a little, let's get a little reasonable here. All right, reasonably nerdy moment. The reasonable thing to conclude with this potential rumor is Phoebe Waller-Bridge, should any of this come to actuality, should this actually be a thing, Phoebe Waller-Bridge is going to take over the series, that's not her becoming Indiana Jones. That is not gender swapping Indy. That is gender swapping the lead of a franchise movie, sure. Gender swapping Indiana Jones, no, not so much, unless, I mean, they did do aliens in the last movie, so maybe they're going to do like alternate universes. That is a possibility, though not a reasonable conclusion to come to. Reasonably speaking, there is no way that you can get to the conclusion that Phoebe Waller-Bridge is going to be Indiana Jones. And I think that's where a lot of the nerd rage is coming from because nerds don't want to see the gender swapping. So again, we're, we're still with our reasonable caps on. We're thinking, all right, so Harrison Ford is getting up there in years. If this franchise continues to move forward and it is not going to move forward with Harrison Ford in the lead role anymore, he is going to 
step aside and take a secondary role to Phoebe Waller-Bridge. It is no longer going to be Indiana Jones. It's going to be whatever her character's name is. It's just going to continue this universe. Which probably is not going to do well for the studio because Indiana Jones is the reason we watch Indiana Jones movies. But they are experimenting with other ways to continue franchises that theoretically could upset fans less. Because let's be honest, it's the internet and everybody's going to get mad about something. I applaud the studio for trying something different aside from just straight swapping up Indy for a, a, a female actor. That's just my opinion. That's just me trying to bring a little levity to the situation. Let's move right along to the uh, likelihood that this is the case. All right, so just because Phoebe Waller-Bridge is on set does not mean that she's actually going to be taking over the lead of the series. Just means that she was cast in a movie and she's going to be playing a secondary role to Indiana Jones. So... We also know, though, that there is a lot of push towards uh, diversification and regendering things and so on and so forth. So it is possible. There is a fair reason to believe that this could happen. So we're going to go about 60% likelihood that Phoebe Waller-Bridge will be moving into a lead role in subsequent films in this universe. Moving on. Our next rumor has to do with the Batman HBO Max uh, universe stuff that's going on, whatever that mess is that they're calling the DCEU these days. Uh, this has to do with that, specifically the Batman side of things. Even more specifically, Penguin is supposedly getting a series over on HBO Max. Uh, no detail in this rumor as to if it's going to be an ongoing series, if it's going to be a miniseries, so on and so forth. It does go on to say that it is going to be a prequel to the Robert Pattinson Batman movie, and it is going to be obviously a younger Penguin, presumably how he comes to power. Uh, the likelihood on this one, it, honestly, it could kind of go either way. It does also, to its credit, say that it's probably not going to be Colin Farrell playing the Penguin, as it is, again, going to be a younger version of the character. But still, not originally the greatest source. There has been a secondary source that is a little better, but I Feel like they're just picking up on the same quote unquote insider information uh and and kind of running with it so i can't really i don't know just doesn't lend itself very well to being 100 percent true we're going about 40 percent likelihood that we will be seeing a penguin series on hbo max now could they be actually working on a penguin movie for hbo max that seems slightly more likely uh i would put that rumor a little bit over halfway like 5% over halfway, so 55% likelihood that that's the actual case. I just don't see them doing a series with the Penguin. Uh, moving on to our next rumor, we have another Mortal Kombat rumor that really breaks my little stinking nerd heart <laughs> because we can't confirm it. There is not enough on either side for this rumor. So the rumor says that Warner Brothers wants to do a prequel to the most recent live action Mortal Kombat movie. Again, not going to get into detail about the newest live action Mortal Kombat movie. Check generallynerdy.net for my full write up there. Uh, but uh, they, we do know that they want to expand the Mortal Kombat universe. We do know that they specifically want to expand this new live action Mortal Kombat universe. It just strikes me as odd that they would do the prequel animated when they already have an animated Mortal Kombat universe. So that it, it just, that really kind of grates up against the, the plausibility for this rumor. If it weren't for the animated portion of this, I would say that this is very, very likely. But as it stands, we can't go over 50%, so that's where we're at with this one. Our final rumor has to do, again, with another uh, universal property. Harry Potter is back in the rumor mill. This time, it is not Harry Potter directly, just a character from the world of Harry Potter. Uh, very specifically, Snape. The newest rumor is that Snape is getting his very own series on HBO Max. This one strikes a little odd. Uh, Snape is, not, I mean, he is a fan favorite for sure. As far as the teachers go, he is definitely right up there at the top with the likes of Dumbledore and the like. So it would not be a complete surprise if this is the direction that they're going, but it would be strange for this to be the first spin-off thing that we get outside of Fantastic Beasts. 
So that is the reason, like it would, it would make more sense that they would go with one of the primary characters from either the Harry Potter series or the Fantastic Beasts series and not one of the secondary characters from there. So that being the case, we're going to put this one at about 30% likelihood that we're going to see a Snape series before something else gets a series. Again, long enough timeline, anything is possible. Just within the next few years, probably not going to see Snape get his own series. That is what we have for the Rumor Mill nerds. And that was the Rumor Mill once again, nerds. If you want to see the full episode, because this does come from a much larger episode, then you can follow the link in the description. The top link should take you to the episode, unless you're not on YouTube, in which case go to youtube.com slash nerdy and you can do the thing and see the stuff and all of that jazz. And thank you very much, nerds. There's also a website, generallynerdy.net. Patreon.com slash nerdy is the uh, paywall that you can get behind all of the things. I'm going to go now. Before we go, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.